Have you ever gone somewhere at the spur of the moment? Clear across the country? Let's start from the beginning. It all started here. This is Tom's Bench. Tom's Bench is in downtown Los Angeles, California. This is Los Angeles. And this is where Tom's Bench is. Angels know It just occurred to me, you probably have no idea who Tom is. This is Tom. And Tom was in love with Summer. They were both characters in the movie 500 Days of Summer. This is Pershing Square Station, and it was from here that Tom exited out of the subway to the park. That's where I wanted to go. It was here on this escalator that Tom came out and looked right at the park at Pershing Square. And that's what I'm looking forward to seeing from that movie. It's a bit overgrown now, but this is the bench where Tom and Summer came. And Tom showed Summer the beauty of the architecture with the view from here on this bench. It was also on this bench that Tom realized Summer had gone for good. She had found somebody else, had gotten married, and the 500 days of summer were coming to an end. I just wanted to come here to this spot because I really loved that movie and I wanted to experience this spot and take a picture from here of the view and see what they saw from here. So if you haven't had a chance to look at the movie 500 days of summer, I encourage you to do so. It's really, really cool. Let's take in the view. It's pretty cool from here. I can see why he liked it as an architect. This tree just isn't the same as when uh, Zoe Dachanel was here. It's kind of uh, seen better days, and its days are done. From here, we're going to take you to another location of the movie, which was the last scenes of the film and was also in the motion picture Blade Runner. And we're gonna go on the Angel's Flight.
That was the entrance of Tom in 500 Days, and this is the entrance of Harrison Ford in Blade Runner. The building is open to visitors daily, but only in the main floor area. A government worker is on hand to provide historical background on it. <laughs> the lobby of the Barclay Hotel was transformed into the coffee bar, which Tom and his mates hang out. This was Tom's apartment. All these locations are really close together within downtown LA. Pretty cool to find places like this and uh, show them off. And I just got a toot from somebody waving hi as I was filming. That's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, off to another location. This is the Fine Arts Building where Tom was showing Summer one of the greatest edifices of a building in LA. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I'm in LA. Occasionally, I feel like I'm in New York City. It seems so common. Like some of the places you're looking at, and I just feel like it's a street in New York City. And the Fine Arts Building was one of Tom's favorites in the 500 days of summer. So here's the shot from the movie compared to mine. It's been really tiring walking around to all those locations and now it's time for a beer. And then I'm going to do a few stages to an adventure lab close by and hopefully not tire myself out. And oh, we still have to get some geocaches. Don't let me forget. We got a few locations to the Adventure Lab, the tour of downtown Los Angeles. Now we're going to go to a virtual geocache, which is a four difficulty one terrain. Let's go find it. A 4 1 virtual. Could be quite difficult to get because you need to get a picture here shows you are at this location and a photo from one of the many cities that is a sister city to Los Angeles and prove that you were there as well. The good thing is that we were at Vancouver, Canada, the easiest of the list to get because some of them are pretty far off places. That's a lot of places and I hope that we're able to log it because I look back into my phone and, and photos that we posted on Facebook and I can't find anything that says we were actually there except a screenshot from a, an adventure lab that we did in Stanley Park and a photo of us with the oldest geocache in British Columbia. And I'm hoping that will be okay. And I'll check with the CO. And check this one out. This is a virtual geocache of the Space Shuttle Challenger for the memorial for that and for Colonel, Colonel Onizuka. Oh, I said it right. And you have to get the name of the artist, the date, and who created the sculpture. Next up, it's a mystery cache where you have to find the location based on the photo that's on the cache page. And this one is from a geocacher that we know whose name is Fu Manju. So let's go find it. Got it. 
And the key to these uh, key locks is to push really, really hard on the tab to get them to open. And this is a geocache I really like because it uses triangulation based on a photo to find a spot using map, Google Maps and the satellite images and especially Street View can help you solve locations like this, which I do with, you guessed it, film locations. A lot of them trying to find out where they are. I flew in on one day and out the next. All that way for a bet.